Luton Town faced three successive relegations from 2007 to 2009, falling from glory days in the Championship all the way down to non-league in the Conference. However, over the past decade they've completed a remarkable turnaround and next week have the opportunity to return to the top flight of English football, the Premier League. Formed back in 1885, the Hatters have had their fair share of memorable moments, winning the League Cup in 1988 and competing in the English First Division from 1982 all the way up to 1996. The 1988 uh, Illwood's Cup final was, for people my age, a pinnacle for Luton Town. Um, they've been knocking on the door of Wembley Stadium a couple of times and it was, it was the first year that for a long, long time we got there and we had a special team at that time. The team really, really knew how to play good football. Um, the game against Arsenal, Arsenal would have been favourites all day long. Um, and we got a, a, a late dramatic win, which defined our history for, the, for a long, long time. Yeah, it was a fantastic day. Club was, was outstanding at that time. We were top, top, top flight football for 10 years. It's fantastic. It was a real, real pinnacle. And don't forget, we went to the League Cup final the following year as well, although we didn't win that one, unfortunately. But in 2007, the club's sudden decline began. Under bad management, they fell from the Championship to League One, before being faced with two successive point deductions, which saw the Hatters fall from League One to League Two, before going from League Two to the Conference, all within the space of just three years. As a supporter, I thought, you know what, we'll go down for one season. And I know it sounds a bit arrogant now looking back at the time, I thought we'd bounce straight back up. But we clearly didn't do that. Did I stop going? No. Did a, did a lot of people stop going? No, we had quite a big crowd for non-league times. And, you know, when we used to go to the away games, there would be more Luton Town fans there than the home supporters. I remember one time, uh, I think it was Dartford away. Uh, someone will change that when, when, they, when they read this back. But um, they had to move the home supporters out of the stands to put other away supporters in. So it was, it was a good journey, but one that I'd, I'd rather have avoided. But what it did, it made our club regroup and press on, I think, is the answer to that question. So by, by having that five years down there and some of the disappointments of the playoff finals and things like that, uh, we were able to, to restructure our club and the club obviously now uh, has gone on to bigger things. Now slumped in the fifth tier of English football, Luton had quite the climb back up the pyramid, but the town were determined not to give up. And under the management of John Still, in the 2013-14 season, Luton won the conference with three games to spare. In 2017, Luton reached the League Two playoff semi-finals, where they were narrowly beaten by Blackpool. A year later, however, automatic promotion to League One came with a second place finished. Then, in 2019, the Hatters faced their second successive promotion, winning the League One title at first try. Luton Town were back in the second division of English football for the first time in 12 years. Ah, oh, well, it was phenomenal. Back-to-back -back promotions was amazing. Uh, but the, the League One title was, we were unexpected to be at the top of the league. Um, you had uh, Portsmouth up there and you, you had teams that thought that they were going to be, and Sunderland as well at the time, um, and I think the manager helped that. So we, when Nathan Jones came along, he did actually develop the team more. And when I think back to it, what did it feel like? Well, it was amazing because once we hit the top of the league, we never got, got any lower. So once we got to first, we stayed in first. As a supporter, you know when your team is good, right? And I would say to you that for me personally, and again, it might sound a bit big headed, but... I used to go to games and thinking, well, we're not going to lose today because we had such a good team. And it turned out to be correct, you know, to, to win the title, let alone get promoted twice, but to win the title was, was such a brilliant season. I loved every single second of it. Ever since their return to the Championship, Luton have finished 19th, then 12th, then 6th, so there's been a lot of improvement. And this year, the club have gone one step further, finishing in third place, and they've made it to the Championship playoff final. Every single season we've made an improvement. I mean, the first season, obviously, we were lucky to, to stay in the league. Again, Nathan come back and helped us do that. Um, but every season we developed more. We played better football. A lot of people don't like our style. I would say our style is what it needs to be to get to where we are. Every single season we go, we get another 
chance of, of pushing on. Uh, last season in the playoffs, yeah, it was a dream, absolute dream, and a bit heartbreaking that we didn't get to the final. After beating Sunderland 3-2 on aggregate in this year's semi-finals, this Saturday under the arch at Wembley Stadium, the Hatters will take on championship rivals Coventry, with their aim to complete this fairy tale story and get promoted. Over 35,000 Hatters will be travelling to the stadium and it's set to be a fantastic afternoon of football. OK, so I, I'm feeling very pessimistic. Um, we've never won a playoff final ever. We've lost two in the conference. We've never made it in the EFL at all. So you can be pessimistic that way. But given the way that we've been playing this season, I think that Coventry and Luton will be a very tight game. I would say we, we, we haven't beaten each other this season, so... It's winner takes it all, isn't it? I'm excited too because as an older person, uh, I didn't think we'd be in this position for a little bit longer. So I'm very grateful that we've got this opportunity. And we've sold out our allocation. It's going to be a fun, fun day. What, what the, if we won, it will be in dream world. Now, if the town are to get promoted, what will it mean? Well, a lot of money will have to be injected into the club to help them stay up, and they'll receive millions of pounds as a prize for promotion. Their stadium, Kenilworth Road, is infamously known for its entrance to a row of houses, wooden seats and rickety nature. To get it up to Premier League standard, it would cost the club £10 million, but I'm sure it will be worth it. What will it do for our club? Um, the money from the Premier League will pay for our new stadium, or a huge contribution towards it. Um, it will stabilise our club. The parachute payments will stabilise the club even more and put us in a position where, if you think about teams like Brentford and Brighton who've gone up and, and consolidated, even Bournemouth really at times, they've consolidated and um, they, you know, they're, 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 they're absolutely doing quite well in the, in, the, in the Premier League. So, you know, that would be our next step. Our dream step would be go up, stay up, that's going to be a real hard task. Go up and stay up for some time would be would be brilliant, but we're under no illusions. Let's just go up there and see what happens. That's what I really want to do. But so will Luton get promoted? What will happen to Kenilworth Road? Well, only time will tell. We'll just have to wait till Saturday afternoon to see what happens in this highly anticipated game of football. But one thing for sure is that I'm supporting the Hatters because it would be incredible to see the team go from the conference all the way up to the Premier League in just the space of 10 years. They'd be the first team to do so and it'd be an incredible fairy tale story if it is to happen. Thank you to the guys at the Owen The Town podcast for agreeing to speak to me. Please make sure to go and check out their channel. There'll be a link to that in the description as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment and come on you hatters.